Hello, Nathan Wolf here, yet again with a Bug Whisperer. Hi! Uh, we're going to show you uh, something today that might be useful to some people, but probably not to a lot of people, but I've been asked how to do it before, and uh, it's something you can do in Magic that I think not a lot of people know you can do. Um, so we are going to add a Hogwarts castle to this world, um, and we're going to use engineering magic to do that. So if you've played with magic in the survival configs, you know there's a bunch of different levels you can get to. Um, as it goes, beginner, student, apprentice, and then wizard, otherwise known as master. Uh, but the reason we also call it wizard is it's not really the master rank. There are two or three more above that, and those are called the engineering ranks. Those let you build things with magic. Um, you can really do some cool stuff that's sort of like World Edit-ish, if you're familiar with that plugin. Um, <laughs> so I just use Super Shell to make a giant ice dome, just as a, as a for instance. Um, and much like all the survival spells in Magic, everything you do with Engineering Magic is undoable, but the difference is they don't auto-undo. They are permanent changes to the world that you can make. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this little build that I found on Planet Minecraft. So thank you to the awesome people that made this. Looks like a really cool build of Hogwarts. I've not actually tried it yet. I just downloaded it. Um, so if you've ever gone to Planet Minecraft and found something cool, there are two different ways that they work. One is um, as a schematic file. And those are a little easier to work with. You might be familiar. You load them in. Um, usually use World Edit to paste it. It's just a file. Uh, but they can't be real big. Um, Hogwarts is real big. This Hogwarts looks awesome. Um, so those kind of downloads, you'll see you actually get a world. Um, and so that's cool if you want to like add that world. You can go to it. You can play in it. But what if you want to actually merge that into your world. Um, so that's what we're going to do here. We have this world that we've got and I'm going to add the Hogwarts castle to it. Um, we've picked out a good spot. It's kind of remote. Um, hopefully no one will find it until we're ready to have them find it. So we are going to try to create Hogwarts right in the middle of this ocean. So here we go. Um, the first thing I would do well, is make it daytime, I guess. Um, once you've picked a good spot, if you're out in the water, uh, it might be nice to have something to stand on. So I'm just going to make a little ice platform here, and we can land on it. Uh, you want to mark the spot that you plan on using, really all the spots that you go to. I use warps for that. You can always um, change these later, but I'm going to do M warp add Hogwarts. So now we have a Hogwarts warp that we can warp to with M warp go Hogwarts. Um, now we want to get to the Hogwarts castle that we want to copy. So I've already downloaded and unzipped that Hogwarts world onto our server. And I did that with the server running. There's no need to like shut it down necessarily or anything like that. Um, and I use the phase spell to get there. Uh, you can use command line casting. So we say cast phase. And there's a parameter to phase called target world. And that tells us what world we want to go to. You see it'll suggest the worlds it knows about that we have loaded. But you can actually also pick a world that you don't even have loaded yet. That's just sitting there on your server um, that's never been used. So in this case, I called it World Hogwarts. Hopefully this works. <laughs> now, the trick is, I'll teleport you to me. Uh, the trickiest part of this, honestly, a lot of times is actually locating the build. Um, I usually assume that they've put it somewhere around zero, zero. And I found it! Yay! All right. So once you get to the spot that you want to copy, and this is looking really cool, uh, I would make another warp. So I'm going to say M warp add Hogwarts source, because this is the source that we're going to copy from to our destination that we made before. So we are kind of ready to start copying this. What I'm going to do um, is actually have us both copy it just because I think it would be kind of fun. So the way that magic works when you copy things is it's copying blocks from one location to another location. So it kind of is important to mark the source location. Um, since we know we're going to be copying this somewhere right at sea level, I want to go down somewhere uh, that is also sea level. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a spot here uh, with something obvious, like a redstone block here. So that's going to be our source location. And I'm actually going to set the warp here. Just 
to make it easier. And then I'm going to go back to the Hogwarts place where we want to paste it in. And I'm going to similar, similarly put a spot there. And that's going to be our target location. So back to the source. I'm going to bring Bug Whisper down here. And I'm going to show you how to set this up. So um, she's never really used these spells a whole lot. We've done a little bit with it, but not too much. Um, so let me show you. Open up your spell inventory. And then go to your other hotbar. Yeah, and I close that. All the spells you need are actually in the hotbar, because I do this all the time with the wolf on. So um, what you want is one page over. Um, so there are some icons in the wolf wand that are not actually spells. Uh, they are brushes. Um, when you work with engineering magic, the brushes are these things that tell you what to build with. A lot of them are just plain blocks, but we have some special ones like copy, erase, clone, replicate. Those ones actually appear in your spell inventory too because they're so special and useful that you might want them all the time. I, in fact, keep them in my hotbar because I use them a lot. So there's one with the three little blocks on it. It's called Replicate, yeah, and when you pick it, you'll see it kind of does something special. It says Replicate Source Selected in your action bar. So what you want to do is actually stand directly on this block. Wait, wait, uh, shove me, shove me! Okay, you do it first. You do it, okay, and then, then move away so I can do it. So we're both going to pick the same source, so when we paste, we're both going to be pasting from the same spot. Now I'm going to send us both back to where we want this to go. And now what you want to do is go to your next top bar and the one after that. And you want super blob, which is the big blue circle. Um, this makes a giant solid sphere of whatever you want. Now the important part is the very first time you cast a spell after selecting replicate, that's going to be the target location. So you want that to line up with your source location and you kind of need to remember it. for. Uh, for, if you're doing it by yourself, it doesn't matter too much the first cast, but it's important if you ever need to make some repairs, you're going to have to line those up again. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, but step away from it, because you can actually just aim at that spot. So aim at that spot and cast it. And then point just a little ways away and cast again. And you can see, hopefully, we are lined up. So now, um, try it again. Like, do it somewhere else. There you go. Um, so basically, every time you click to cast, you're selecting the center, and then you click again, and it's going to be the outer ring of a giant sphere. And it's a little harder to visualize. You can see, you can see here, oh, it looks like a sphere. Um, so you, this way, you can kind of paste things in a little bit at a time and kind of get a feel for uh, what it's going to look like. And building um, up in the air in Minecraft is laggy, mostly client side lag. Whoa. Wait, where even are those? Oh, those aren't beacons. Those are uh, end. Uh, oh, cool. Whatever. What are these even called? End gateways. End gateways. Crazy. Mm, cool. Well, it would be fun to see what that actually looks like once we got this all built. <laughs> Consumed. So it's kind of cool to be able to do this. You can build things piece by piece. Um, but when you're, when you think it's good, and do we think this is good? It's gonna be a good uh, spot, hopefully. Okay. All right, you ready for me to just do it? Do it, do it. Or you can do it. Here, why don't you do it? Okay, so what you do is you uh, cast at a spot. Yeah, like like there, you got a spot selected? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. Okay, and then like, come with me. Way over here. Which is somewhere far away. This is probably maybe good to start. And just cast right at the water right there. Um, and then we will see Hogwarts. All right, so we uh, kind of got impatient, but we are back. I've got the bug with Whisperer with me again. Uh, also have a special guest star, Cohen Bean, a.k.a. the Flaming Sword. Do you want to say hi? Hi! So he's here to see what we were doing. Um, this actually, you know, it started to feel uh, lag-free. I wonder, is it is it actually done? Oh, no, no, we're still lagging. So we started lagging pretty hard. Um, I think it's basically done, but not quite. So if, if you ever have something that is, is happening in Magic, maybe building or spell casting, and you don't want it to keep going, or you're just tired of waiting, you can do Magic slash, slash Magic Cancel. Keep in mind this is going to cancel everybody's spells, including Levitate. Hopefully. Um, so hopefully you don't mess with anybody too bad. 
So that canceled the spell. It should clear up some of the lag, but it's also worth noting, if you go back to our magic list, look where it says modify blocks, 6,278,161. So that's how many blocks that we pasted in here, and those are all sitting in my undo queue, waiting uh, for me to decide if I want to keep this or not. Um, but I think it's good. We think it's good, right? I think it's perfect. It's in a good spot. Yeah. It looks amazing. Here, you can fly now. You can fly around if you want to put you in creative mode for now. Um, so I think we like it. So um, what you can do once you're satisfied is clear your undo queue. There's two ways to do that, or really three ways. Um, in the wolf wand somewhere, you can find the spell. Um, it's called commit, and it looks like a book. But rather than do that, uh, it's a little easier. You can just do slash cast commit. And in this case, that's probably going to lag the server pretty bad while yeah. that happens. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that is kind of why it's lagging. But uh, once you see the effects for commit, which is what that grid was just there, um, then it is done. And, uh, and everything should be there. It should be pasted in and good to go. Um, one thing you can do, you know, like we said, we kind of canceled it early. That left some weird artifacts like this. You can see where this was kind of still building in the spirit. Mm -hmm. um, you can fill that in. Just grab Super Blob again and cast it, and you can sort of fill in little chunks like that. So if, if we wanted to go through here and kind of fix all this up, we could do it without having to redo the whole thing. Where are you? Where are you? That's the question. I'm at Hogwarts Castle. All right, well, I think we're going to call this good. Uh, hopefully you've learned a little bit about how to use engineering magic. We'll maybe have a more generic tutorial for it because there's a lot of cool things you can do other than just pasting... Um, but we'll have to save that for a later video. So thanks for joining us. Um, do you want to say goodbye, mister? Goodbye. Thanks for joining us. See you in the next video. See Bye. you guys in the next video. Bye. Interesting that I thought this thing had water all around it. I thought it did too. Maybe it's just building and then deleting the water and then building there. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure either. It doesn't work that way though. It doesn't? No, oh. it doesn't. Mm. Or I don't think it's Yeah, we might want to like... Because uh, mm -hmm. I thought... Did, did you perhaps change your brush in the middle of this? Mm -hmm. Did you like click on erase or mm -hmm. anything? So it's, uh, it's mm -hmm. worth saying that... Um, if you change your brush in the middle of building something, it actually does affect the building in progress. So if you are uh, building with Replicate and you switch halfway through to Erase, then your build is going to switch to Erase. Is that what you did? I think so. I was going to do it by accident because I fell, I fell into the water uh -huh. and I was trying to get the back to the Yeah. Well, that's what happened there. Um, but that's good to know. You know, it actually does let you do some cool stuff. Um, so, for instance, like, you can make a giant sphere like this. And then while it's building, you can switch materials. If you want, like, an interesting sort of, like, layered effect. Yeah, I always do that. Um, but in this case, <laughs> it is not what we wanted at all. So, um, yeah, can you uh, can you undo that? Just point up and you roll back. And Your replicate source that you have selected normally gets saved, but... Since I had fun showing you how to switch brushes, yeah. I'm on glass now. I know, well, we're just showing you all the things not to do. <laughs>。how many times I forgot. Okay, so we we messed this up again. I'm glad we're showing you all the ways to do this wrong. Um, so yeah, you know I had to I had to pick the replicate brush again, right? Mm. It's important to cast it at the same target location if you have to do that. 
Otherwise, it's just going to paste wherever you cast it. And I, I cast it up, and now it's all up, and everything's pretty much breaking. Oh, yeah, it's undoing. Sorry, I misread the magic list. So, by the way, uh, when you're doing stuff like this, there's a handy command magic list that will tell you um, all the spells going on in the world. Um, there can be some, kind of like you can see Levitate that we both have is just a spell that's kind of on when it's on, so that shows up in there. And then there's uh, this Mars Atmosphere is uh, something we might show you some other time. We have a Mars world here, and there's a there's a magic automata there that basically um, simulates a Martian atmosphere and gravity. So when you're on Mars, you need a special equipment to breathe or to be in a place with an air pump. Uh, and, and that's what that is doing there. So there can be things that show up in the list that aren't like necessarily spells that you're actively casting with the wand. Um, but it shows you everything that's going on in the world. And my goodness, it's taking a really long time to undo. It is happening though. It is happening. It is. Yeah. Sure. Yep, see? Boop. Okay. Boop. Boop. It takes at least as long to undo as it took to build in the first place. Monument. Why would you leave this I know. I didn't know we were gonna actually hit it, but it's definitely gonna get eaten. No. Ah! <laughs> He's mad. He's mad that we're destroying his home.